Невозможно сосчитать. И, наверное, невозможно сосчитать количество групп, которые она привезла. Я хотела бы рассказать, насколько я вам благодарна. You all took a chance on a program that Вы приняли участие в программе. I had no idea whether it would work or not. And one after another we learned how to do this program together. And then it started growing. It started growing like mushrooms in spring. But only because you, many of you, your early, the early ones, were so, were so influential on American minds when you got to American cities. So it's you that I'm grateful for. And I'm glad that it was working that it worked for you too. So what do we need to talk about tonight? Of course the thing that interests me most in life is making sure that we rebuild the bridges between our my country and your country. I thought that we had built the bridges and they would last forever. And I had thought that you had made an indelible impression on all of America. But unfortunately, we hadn't had enough of you going to enough places to make a huge difference. So it seemed like things were getting a little more dangerous. And of course, I was watching it very closely, uh, reading international news daily. And these came from India, from Germany, from Netherlands, from Canada, even, even South Africa and Paraguay. <laughs> it's so many countries, it was unbelievable who was writing, who was writing. And conditions still continued to get worse. So finally the time came when I said, we have to do something at the citizen level again. And I wasn't quite sure what. And so I thought, well, the first thing I can do is bring a group of Americans here and we can talk with Russians in several cities and get an understanding of how Russians are thinking about the situation. And so that's why we're here. We had dozens of really, really great meetings in Moscow even university students, rooms full of university students. And then we went to Volgograd, and we had same kinds of meetings, only more people showing up. Everybody agreeing that we've got a huge problem and we need to figure out another way to fix it. And so I'm asking every audience to help us understand what would be useful today in 2015. What, what's, what would be what would be useful to rebuild these bridges between our countries, not only at the citizen level, but also at the at the top or at the upper levels. So I still don't have a full answer, but we have a lot of suggestions now. And of course, we need to start exchanges again. So uh, we're starting with the things that we know how to do. Uh, we hope to start uh, student exchanges, summer student, ex student exchanges in the summers, because we need to get our youth together for the future for us both. So we have talked with the young people and they are ready to exchange and they feel like they will be able to help with support some of the financial end of it and so we, we will we hope to start this soon. We're collecting uh, email addresses so that we can be up on email with multiple peoples around the country, around Russia and in the United States in both languages. So, uh, And uh, we're hoping to be able to start the first uh, level of a program that we called Soviets Meet Middle America back in the 1980s. I don't think, and none of you have participated in this program, it was before we met you. 1988 and 1989 we brought, I don't remember how many, Soviet citizens of our choice to American communities, American cities. These were short-term visits. We took, for instance, four Soviet citizens and took them on a rotary around the United States of something like four to six cities. And then uh, we said to the Americans, show them everything, let them see and, and let Americans see them in every type of situation possible. Everything from home visits, staying in their homes, eating in their, in their uh, kitchen tables, and also meeting with their public officials and their newspapers and television. Mm -hmm. And this caused an explosion of goodwill across the country. So it seems to me that this is something we can do again. And in, I didn't tell you how many cities they visited. They, the, a total of these four times, I can't tell you how many delegations that we've brought over. But at any rate, out of all of this, they visited 264 cities in America. So 
this was a this was a very powerful program and it opened the door to so many other people that had never been involved mm -hmm. with us. And today we have far more Russian contacts than we had Soviet contacts in those days. And we have far more Soviet far more Russians who we know out across the regions. So this is one thing we will try and we will let you know. But how many of you would be interested in paying your international transportation to get to the United States to participate in this goodwill trip around the country? Would you be willing? Хотели бы. Да все практически. All of everybody. Practically every everyone. Good. <laughs> this means we will have plenty of people to participate then. <laughs> but um, we need to work together starting right now and on into the next year or two until we see what's happening at the top levels of both of our countries. I hope that it I hope that what we're seeing right now is a backing off of Washington and understanding that they are not going to be able to have to have the outcome that they wanted to have. And I'm sure with that, if this is actually going, if this is happening, I'm sure that the Russians are going to <coughs> respond similarly. I feel like apologizing to you because my country has caused you a lot of grief in the last six months. If there's anything that I could have done to have prevented any of this, I would have, and so would have any of the Americans in this delegation with me. Pardon? It's not you who is responsible for, the, for these actions. I know, but still, you must know how I feel about it. You are coming here to make a change, but of course it depends on on the high stuff, you know, Obama and <laughs> That's right. Yeah, and uh, we are in, we are influential, but at the same time, not as much as it possible. True. So absolutely. Well, we are only citizens. <laughs> it's a joke. Well, we are only citizens, but we never know how much power we have until we start. Конечно же, мы только граждане, но мы не знаем, сколько у нас есть силы и сколько влияния. Maybe Sharon, you could ask that same question about who would be willing to fund their own travel, a small delegation, if we could get um, some time of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, U.S. Congress, some, and so we can tell them that that is the reason that they are, are going to go there. Absolutely. I think we can do that. You know, we but, had 48 Congress members to sign off on the bill that said we do not want those weapons sent to Ukraine. We need to ask them, we need to yeah. go to them, and then we yeah. also need to ask them, who else do we need to be talking to that, what, that did that did sign? We never know until we try. And I know that a lot of those people signed because it was just a political thing to do. So I think, I think another trip to Washington would be good. <laughs> Честно говоря, немножко не понимаю. Дело в том, что Шерон подняла другой совсем вопрос. Ага. То есть она вопрос политический подняла. Поэтому сейчас идет какая-то у нас отчетность. Отчетность, как мы съездили в Америку. Да. Well, maybe we, uh, it looks like we moved to, into another direction. When you started your presentation, you spoke about political issues. And yeah. now we, we, are, we are kind of uh, reporting. Maybe this is a little так, bit of a little 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 so because uh, the question which you are concerned that we are concerned how to bring our two countries together. Uh -huh. And we need to do it at several different levels. Я просто хочу сказать, я считаю, что Кишерон правильно подняла вопрос о встрече с конгрессменами. Когда, когда when, uh, yes, you you were absolutely right when you spoke about uh, visits to congressmen. Когда мы ездили с Сережей Переваловым, с Артуром и другими ребятами, мы ездили, встречались, мы встречались. С Маккейном встречались. So, Мы встречались с Колином Пауэллом, которого Шерон организовала встречу. Я просто хочу... Я просто хочу... Я просто хочу... Я просто хочу... Вы помните, да? Я просто что хочу сказать, что мне показалось, что после этих встреч... 
Да, чтобы мне показалось, что после этих встреч политика в течение четырех-четырех лет она была более спокойной. So in my opinion, so after these meetings, so that the politi political attitude from both countries it was more or less stable. Поэтому надо возможно возобновить встречи. So that's why it's very important to to start bringing and talk to Congress. Absolutely. Совершенно правильно. We can't do that every week or every month, but we can go one time or two times. Дело в том, что каждую неделю и каждый месяц мы это делать не можем. Мы можем это сделать. Надо. Именно сейчас. But we need to 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 do it as fast as possible, as soon as possible. Я в 2001 году был на стажировке в штате Мичиган. Евгений Волгин, Мичиган, Ибо. И я был шером в составе тех людей, которые потом создавали опору выпускники программы. Да. И я с того времени до сих пор в опоре. И работа в опоре привела меня в Народный фронт. Путинский Народный фронт. Я на сегодня доверен на лицо президента. So he is a representative, a trust personal represent, trusted representative of Putin. This is called a deputy. Вот как это по английски сказать? Это это как быть как депутат? Вы тоже видите? Лучший друг. Друг друга. 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 Друг друг. 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 Друг
and do exchanges and uh, all this. Uh, just not only going and visiting and meeting McCain and other senators. А уже приезжать с конкретными результатами, сказать, что вот мы мы можем сделать вот это присоединение. Представьте, вы знаете, мы я со своими студентами прохожу тему crowd voting, да, голос общественности. И на самом деле вот технологии, которые сейчас интернет существуют, они достаточно сильные. Можем ли мы сделать такую страницу обмен наших мнений, когда наш голос и наше лицо выражает нашу позицию? Краудвотинг. 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 Я очень рад. Вчера, когда была встреча, я сфотографировал и выставил всю ночь и до утра шли лайки и все узнали о том, что вы приехали и уже был подъем, правда, от этого и все передавали шерон привет детям приедем Спасибо огромное за ваши комментарии, за ваши предложения, за то, что вы пришли.